Hey YouTube, just got finished uh, showing you how to adjust the the, la the pot on your laser if it was having the open tray or the unrecognizable disc error. Um, going straight into the, the next thing, how to change out the laser if you just decided to buy a new one. Um, it's probably a good idea when you get it to go down, go ahead and write down. Oh, I forgot to write the other part. But you look on the bottom, and you tip the barcode upwards. And this bottom number right here, you probably can't see it because you couldn't see the last one in the last video. But it, mine says 15XB. Careful don't to touch, not to touch the lens because you can damage it. But I went ahead and wrote it down. Uh, it's also, there's a, a, a series right there, G2R2. Both of my lasers were G2R2. And you go ahead and take your multimeter and you measure the, uh, you get the same contact points. Again, for those of you who didn't watch the last one, um, the contact points for the laser, this side is marked with a D next to it, stands for DVD. This one's marked with a C next to it for CD. Um, there's actually, there's three points on it for the DVD. There's one point on the right side. Well, there's one point on the inside, I mean. And then there's two points on the outside. And then for the CD, the points are pretty much in the same direction. There's one point on this side, and there's two on the inside of it. And you just touch your multimeter. It doesn't matter which, which point you touch your positive and negative to. They'll come out with the same reading. But you just touch it to the two that are next to each other. That's why I got this in the vice grips. It kind of makes it hold it a lot easier because I was trying it originally without the vice grips and I'll be trying to do it and it'll be trying to move away while I'm working, but vice grips work out a lot better. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that on there and show you what it's easy way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put these up and get my, get my dish tray. Hold on a second. Wind down, sucker. Mag it out, get your disc out, unplug your SATA cable, unplug your white tip. Alright. This tray. Front, back. We're gonna be working with the back. Now you're gonna have to there's other tutorials that show you to pretty much just take lot of this apart but we're going to do it the the easiest way that I found is you just go ahead there's a little hole here that'll open up your dish tray uh, pretty much you just push that put something in there and push it and this opens okay now uh, earlier in my last video I was talking about these two rails could get uneven could cause another problem uh, the disc is not level and the laser is or vice versa it could cause an error the gaps right here should be pretty much level on the back side under here are the two screws you can kinda see one right there right there behind the thing you tight, tighten them up to make these go up loosen them up to make them go down uh, you don't want to get them too far up because then your laser will hit your disc and that can't be good um, the first time I did this I took all this stuff out this spring these metal rods this clip all this stuff pretty much everything in the middle was gone it was a pain in the ass to put back together so uh, I, was, I got this way you un go ahead and unhook your round ribbon cable and then, I guess I'm going to kind of try and work on this sitting up. Let's see if I can see it like this. Yeah, okay. You're going to remove this screw in this white, uh, I don't know what it's called. I guess I call it a runner arm. Go ahead and remove that screw. Uh, I'm screw holder go there. It is. I use this regular soda cup lid to hold screws on. And then you're going to pull this white piece up. And then there's a little metal clip right here. You're going to want to take this screw out. Got it right there. 
right there. And then, oh shit, you're going to want to go ahead and shut your tray to where the laser falls back like that. Go ahead and open it again. This piece comes right open. Take your laser, slide it back forward, and it pops over like that. Look at that. How much easier that was. Okay. Um, now, just out of general maintenance purposes, so you don't have to end up putting it back, taking them back apart, just to find out what's going on, is you want to go ahead, if you don't have any, like, gear grease or whatever, just go ahead and put, like, run some Vaseline down. That's that wet stuff you can see right there. Right there. That's Vaseline. I went ahead and put get Vaseline on that. And then on the on this motor, I went ahead and took these three screws out, took the motor off, took my WD-40, and with the motor off, I kind of held it over the sink and like sprayed WD-40 down in there just to kind of lube it up, because sometimes stuff can get in there and get all gunked up. I just lubed it up. Um, then you want to go ahead and uh, get your new laser. Raise this bar up, the one that came that came the laser came off the first time. Shouldn't have any problems putting it back on there. Pretty much do it the same way you just took that one off. And you put the, put the laser back on there. Kind of guide it back onto that one. And then you want to get your white arm. Go ahead and put the screw in it. Go ahead and put the screw in there. That way it, you don't have to fight with it. Because, I mean, it is a pain to get back in there. So you want to go ahead and put it back on there. Slide this forward. Kind of pull your laser in so it pulls that arm in. You kind of just put it down until it seats. And then once it's seated, go ahead and take your, your screwdriver and go ahead and tighten that screw down. Then, the tricky part, eh, it's not so much tricky, but it was a little difficult the first time I tried it. But you want to put this, this little metal clip back in there. I found out the easier way to do it is with a set of pliers. And you want to grab the clip. First off, the clip has little ridges on it. This top ridge right here goes in that hole right there. The one on the bottom hooks down, goes up against this metal piece right here, down in that hole below the screw hole. You want to go ahead and Put that clip on there where it's hanging over this arm because it's supposed to hold the uh, this metal arm in place. So once you get the clip in there, you want to get the screw in there. And the screw I found was to be the, the, the difficult part. That's what I was talking about when I said a little bit tricky. Was the screw. I had to hold the screw with the pliers. Put it down in that hole. Just set it in there. should stay while you get your Jeweler's screwdriver, Phillips and whatever, and put it back in there and screw it down. <coughs> now, if it's a brand new laser, uh, no dust or anything has gotten on it, you shouldn't really have to clean the laser. So go ahead and make sure that it's off that circuit board, because if it's on the circuit board, it'll get stuck. A lot of times, if the laser's not out too far, once you shut the, the disc and it's on, it'll just go ahead and refocus its, or reset itself. Um, but yeah, Vaseline that. Then you're supposed to take some machine oil, or I guess you could use just regular 3-in-1 oil. Put some on these metal bars, if there's not already. Oh wait, got to connect this ribbon. We'll go ahead and shut her down. The ribbon's kind of difficult. Kind of hold it with your two fingers. Let it hit that black clip on there to kind of point up and then squeeze it just a little bit. You don't want to screw up your cable. And you put it in there. Oh, crap.
Come on. There we go. Get it in there. Push that black piece up, that clip, so it holds it. See the white? It's fine. Since the thing's open, kind of pull it back until it bumps that bore just, just slightly. And then just release it, and it should spring back just, just the hair. Uh, then you go ahead and shut it with your machine oil on those middle bars. And then once you got it shut, the thing lifts back up, so you can go ahead and slide it back forward a couple times. And then get those that machine oil on there, kind of put a little bit up here, and then work that stuff in there. Make sure it's not over your board. Bam, you're done. Laser changed. Let's put this bad boy in and see how it works, yeah? Alright. Just like last time. Take your DVD tray. Look in the white part. The power. Put that bad boy down in there. Get your game. I just had Battlefield in for the last one, so I'll just go ahead and use it again. Set it on there, put the magnet on. Put her in so she's got power. Turn your controller on. Always test it before you put it all back together. Because when you get put it all back together and it finds out that the laser had was set to not the right kilo ohms or whatever, then you're just like crap. So then you gotta take the whole thing apart. That's what I did the first very first time I did this. Play a game. Let's make sure the tray is working. And eh, let's go ahead and try it. We'll see that later. Dun da 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 da. There you go. And that's how you change the laser in your Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe, whatever. Video number two down. Uh, I guess uh, since I'm making videos on this, I better make one for taking apart Xbox 360, so that'll probably be my next video. Uh, anyway, deuces!